In this video, we will look at the order options for lists. Here we have our list. To access the order options, we will go to Properties and click the Selection tab. Here we can see a drop-down menu with different ways list items can be ordered. First is Sequential. This is the default. It presents items from a list in the order they are in. Random will ensure that all list items will be chosen an equal number of times. When using random selection, we can choose whether or not the items will be reshuffled at the beginning of each cycle. The parameters of a cycle are defined on the Reset Exit tab. If we choose random with replacement, each list item has an equal probability of being chosen for each sample. We can also counterbalance what items are presented based on a selector variable chosen under Order By. For example, we can counterbalance according to the participant number or session number. Offset begins the list at a point that is offset from the beginning according to the selector variable. If we decide to run an experiment with offset by participant selected for the order of the list, for participant 1, the list would start with list item 1, for participant 2, it would start at item 2, item 3 for participant 3, and so on. Finally, permutation generates all possible combinations and conditions and selects one based on the selector variable.